number of your local Catholic priests to get in touch with Why should I? Islam is the truth. In the Deen, in the Allah, in Islam. Malikas Islam, brother. In our Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Ali Imran, the family of Imran. Surah chapter number 3, ayah verse number 19. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In the Deen, in the Allah, in Islam. True faith, true Deen in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Islam. So why should I leave Islam? And you want me to become Christian? Why? Okay. What is, what is ilm? Knowledge. Knowledge. Ilm. Knowledge. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Can I? Can I ask you something? Can I go back? So, do you believe in the Catholic Bible? Yes. So you think everything in the Catholic Bible is true? Okay. Right. In your Catholic Bible. Have you got your Catholic Bible with you? I've got a New Testament. Why you have in the Old Testament? Why don't you believe in the Old Testament? Okay, anyway, tell me. Excuse me. I was asking you that in the second book of Samuel, chapter 23, verse 30, it says he die. That's the name. Yeah. H I double D A I. Yeah. Hotel India Delta Delta Alpha India. Yeah. He die from the ravines of Gash. Yeah. All right. Is that true? Yes. That's true. Yes. But in the first book of Chronicles, chapter eleven, verse thirty-two. Yes, yes, but listen, talking about the same, it says, Hurai, not Hidai, it says, listen, in the first book of Chronicles, chapter 11, verse 32, it says, Hurai, H U R A I, Hotel Uniform Romeo Alpha India, Hurai from the ravines of Gash. So, which one is true, Hidai or Hurai? They can't be both. That different names. How can they both be right? They are different names. No, but it's supposed to be the same person. Yeah, okay, listen. My name's Roger. But a lot of people call me Roger. Yeah. So what's the proper name? No, what's your proper name? Roger. Right, right. So Bible. I'm not nitpicking. Okay, okay. Is your Bible true? The message of it is true, yes. Believe the Bible's message is that Jesus died and rose in the dead from the dead for your sins. Believe that. Well, why should I believe Jesus died? He never died. He died. No. Do you believe Jesus was God? Jesus is God. How dare you say Jesus was God and then you say he died? He died. And did you know we Muslims are so nice? Why? We Muslims use logic. Why? We Muslims. Okay, listen, listen, listen. We Muslims believe in and we Muslims say that Isa al Islam, Jesus, peace be upon him, was a prophet. And we say he never died. And there you are a Christian, you say Jesus was God, and you say God died. How can you believe that? How? Why can't you use your common sense? Why can't you use your logic? Huh? Define common sense. Well, how can you? Okay. Is God Almighty? So if God is... Okay, 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 right. So you Christian believe God is Almighty, yes? Okay. What is the name of your God? Yahweh Shabbat. So it's not Jesus. Jesus. It's well, the second person of the Trinity. No, you just say Yahweh. Yahweh Shabbat, he's got many names. Who has? God. So God is not Jesus. God is Jesus. So when you say, so Jesus has many names. So is Jesus the one and only God? He's the second person of the Trinity. So he's the second God. No, not second God, second person of the Trinity. So answer my question. We Muslims believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one and only God. 
Now, do you, who is that? Let me, show me. Show me. Can you give me one of them? Can you read Polish? No. I can see the photo. Can I, can I see the photo? Look, uh, can I hold it? Can I hold? No, I won't tear it up. And in front of the cameras, I won't tear it up. Give it to me. No, no, no. Give me. Uh, okay, show it to me. Raja, show me the photo of Jesus. I'll tell you the story behind this. Okay, picture. show it to the camera. So, is this Jesus? I show it to the cameraman. So, this is Jesus, yes? Does this look like a man? That camera as well. Come on. Does this look like a man or God? It is a God made man. A God made man. It's a man. It's not a God. It's a man. Okay. I'll tell you what. The person who drew that picture of Jesus, is it true he never saw Jesus? She. 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 Or a woman. A woman drew that picture no, of I'll Jesus. Tell the, so I'll tell you the story of that. Yeah. No, I answer my no, question. No, let me finish. Let me, let me, let well, you're you going to tell. That picture. Yeah. It is a picture of what we call the picture of the divine mercy. Yeah. Now, there was a little nun in Poland before the war. Okay, well, not a long story, no, but just short. Her name was Sister Faustina Kowalowska. Okay. And she saw Jesus right back, with rays representing blood and water coming out of his Where heart. did she see Jesus? In her convent, in Krakow, in Poland. Well, when she was awake or when she was sleeping? When she was awake. Well, she saw Jesus like that? Yes. That's not true. You know why? You know why? I have seen statues of Jesus on different churches. I have seen some different photos of Jesus. But those photos are different from this one. say the prayers that we call the Divine Mercy, which is, Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And we say that at three o'clock every day. Oh, so Jesus used to pray. Very good. How can God pray? Pray to the Father. Okay, listen, let me... Okay, do you believe in the New Testament? Yes. Okay. Do you believe everything in the New Testament? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Do you believe what Jesus says? Yes. Okay. Listen to me carefully. In the Gospel according to John. Are you listening? I'm listening. In the Gospel according to John, which is the fourth Gospel in every Christian Bible. In the Gospel according to John, Chapter 20, verse 17, 1 7. In the Bible, it says, Jesus told Mary Magdalene to tell his followers, I am returning. Jesus is quoted as saying, I am returning to my father and your father and to my God and your God. Is this verse true? So Jesus says, to my God and your God. So when Jesus says, I am returning to my God, that's true? So Jesus returned to his God. So that means Jesus wasn't God himself. What do you mean? How many gods? One? one. So you, we Muslims believe there's only one God. All right? So, so as a Christian, do you believe there's one God? One God, three persons. So who is the God to whom Jesus said he is returning? The Father. So that's one God. Yes. So that's the one and only God. Yes. So Jesus is not God. Jesus is God. Oh, come, come on, man. Okay, you read that verse. Come on. So when Jesus said, I am returning 
to my God and to your God. That in black and white is clear, simple English, that Jesus is not God. That's why he's saying he's returning to his God and our God. To my God and your God. Now you are left speechless. So if Jesus was God, why would he say I am returning to my God and your God? Do you actually believe what Jesus said? So if you do believe what Jesus says, why if you read just this, do you know the English language? Speak up, man. Speak loudly. Listen to this. I will read you this. Yeah, what? This is what Peter, the first pope, said in the second chapter of Acts. Yeah, but loudly. Men of Israel, listen to this. Yeah. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, signs, and wonders which God did among you through him. Yeah. As you yourselves know, this man was handed over to you by God's set purpose and foreknowledge. And you, with the help of wicked men, Okay, stop death, there. Know, let put him to death by nailing him to the cross. But God raised him from the dead. Oh, God he raised him from the agony of death. Because he Excuse was me. Possible Excuse death me. You body. just, hey, Roger, you just. Brothers, I can confidently tell you. Excuse me, you are wasting day, time now. Excuse me. Are you reading the whole Bible? He was a prophet and knew that God had come. Okay, you just said that God raised up Jesus. So Jesus wasn't God. Jesus God. No, you just read that Jesus was raised up by God, yes? By the Father. Well, you just you didn't read the Father, you read by God. What do you mean by the Father? God is not the father of anyone. God is our father. Well, your father? He's my father, yes. We say in Jerusalem, our okay. father, right in heaven, Brother, hallowed be thy name. Listen to this one. Thy will be done on earth. Okay, hold on, hold on. Give us this day hold our on. daily bread. Roger. Give us our trespasses. You, need to you make me laugh, you know. Lead us not into temptation. Okay, listen. Listen, man. You just said that God is your father, yes? Did you in Latin? Did you just say God is your father? Did you just say God is your father? God is our father. Right. On your birth certificate, what does it say your father's name? Henry. Henry is not God. <laughs> so you are wrong. When you said God is your father, you are wrong. Because on your birth certificate, you just said Henry is the name of your father. Yes. So there is no Henry who can be God, isn't it? No, God is our heavenly father. Yeah. And God is not Henry. We are adopted sons of God. Adopted sons of God. When will you become a Muslim, man? You will have some sense. I can never become a Muslim. Why? You want to go to Jahannam? I'll become a Muslim. If I turn up on the day of judgment, I'll say, okay, I'll become a Muslim. On the day of judgment? Yes. That is too late. On the day of Qiyamah, it's too late. You, me? No, you have to do it before we die. When I'm, when I'm, when I'm dead and turn up on the day of judgment, yeah. if it turns out it's too late. It's Allah doing the judgment in Islam, no, no, it's, no, it's too late. No, you have to, while, while you are breathing, while you are alive, well, the action... Listen, in our Quran, in Surah Al-Zilzal, the earthquake, Surah chapter number 99. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Listen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in our Quran, The smallest amount of good deed which we do is written. And the last ayah of that verse, Surah Al Zilzal, the last ayah says, the, small, the smallest amount of bad deed we do is written by who? Kiraman Katibin. Okay? By, that's the duty right now. So, it is during our lifetime. Okay? Our actions are written. Whether, so if we are doing good deeds, they are written. If we are doing bad deeds, they are written. So, when we die, it's all finished. When we die, it's all finished. So you have to decide 
whilst you are living. Do you understand? Well, on the day of judgment, you decide to become a Muslim. That's too late. Then everybody will say, okay, yeah, we become a Muslim. No, it's while you are living. It may, uh, it's making us laugh. Look, don't wait till the day of judgment. I don't believe that Islam is. You're going to be judged by Jesus. Well, by Jesus. Who is, okay, we Muslims believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge us. Why? He is the creator. Did you say Jesus will judge you? Oh, Jesus is the creator. Who is the father God? Is the father God the creator? No, hold on. Who, hold on. We Muslims say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything. Now you answer my question. Did God the father create everything or did God the son Jesus create everything? Ah, so God the Father created everything, yes? Okay, did God the Father create Jesus? Did Jesus create himself? No, no, hold on. Ah, so Jesus was... Did you say... Did, did you say... Did you say, hold on, hold on, Roger, 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 did you, did you just say that, see when he can't answer the question, he start talking to himself, okay, did you just say that Jesus was born, so Jesus was born, was God born, how can you believe God was born? How can God be born? Okay, okay, okay. Before we are born, we are with our mothers for about nine months, maybe six months, nine months. So before, so before God was born, are you saying how long there was no God anywhere? Why he was not born? No, did he, no, no, how can God be born? Okay, okay, excuse me, excuse me. Allahu Akbar, you keep your Jewish propaganda to yourself. Have some, go over to Steve over there. Yeah, go over to Steve over there, man, we are speaking. Allahu Akbar, we are Muslims, have some like that. What, what did you say? No, we say Allahu Akbar. He is the greatest. All right? He is the mightiest. Did you say Isa Akbar? Did he die? So how can he be Akbar then? Because he rose from the dead. No, but how can, how can the Almighty die? Did Muhammad rise from the dead? Yeah, but he's a prophet. He's a prophet. Excuse me, you keep your... Hey. Hey, Mr. Jew, you be quiet. You are lost. Hey, racist Jew, quiet. Quiet. Okay. Muhammad of Islam existed. Okay. Are you a Jew? Are you a Jew? Are you a Jew? Are you a Jew? Come here. Hey, Mr. Come here. Okay, you run away. Okay, you run Hey, Roger. Hey, Roger. Okay. The Jew came. And the Jew caused fitna. So when I went over to the Jewish guy to talk to him, the Jewish guy ran away. I come back, the Christian guy, Catholic Christian, Roger, as he ran away as well. Why? Because it was difficult for Roger to answer the questions. So that's what they do. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah, Al Isra, the night journey. Surah chapter number 17, ayah verse number 81. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in our Quran, Wakul ja al hakko wa zahak al batil. 
innal batil akana zahuka the truth is here and falsehood has perished wa kul jaa al haqq wa zahaq al batil the truth is here falsehood has vanished has perished innal batil akana zahuka for falsehood was bound to perish bound to vanish that's what's happened here the truth is here falsehood has perished the jewish guy came i went near him he vanished he went away i came back and what happened the truth is here the catholic christian roger has run away why he found his opportunity so he retreated the the jewish guy retreated the catholic christian retreated so they have run away so i have to find some new guy allahu akbar